The CoinSuris channel is pleased to have you back. Here in this video, I am going to tell you a few stories. It's time to dive into the basics of cryptocurrency, shall we? When the SEC meets privately with Ripple today, will they be able to strike an agreement? Lots of speculation, like this one, is going around on today's social media. This was sent earlier today by you. In a suggestion that the SEC would lose the action if it went to the Supreme Court, Ripple's top legal officer has hinted. This means it's still possible for it to occur. Furthermore, this has caused widespread concern within the crypto basic XRP troops. Reason being, Nance forbade XRP withdrawals using XRPL. I will discuss it with you. Many in the community are speculating that Ripple and the SEC are likely to settle after today's closed-door meeting, and I'll tell you why, I'll show you. But this is not what I've found to be true. That being said, we shall find out in due course. It will have undoubtedly occurred by the time this feared item is uploaded, if I'm fortunate. I was reduced to nothing more than a dam that anybody could leap over after that. That being said, I do not hold that view. I want to make one thing very clear, I am not a financial advisor, and I am not receiving any sort of funding. Oh, and please don't rely on my advice while making a purchase or a deal, alright? I love to vlog about Bitcoin on YouTube, I'm simply an interested observer. Nevertheless, only for fun and as a hobby. Well, you might want to consider this as a little table centerpiece, or at least have it on hand. The revelation about the Crypto Basic SEC meeting on November 22nd has spurred anticipation for a potential settlement and the Ripple case ever since. I don't see the point in reading the article. But this page on the SEC website is the one they use. Today, from 1 to 5 p.m., this meeting is being announced in compliance with the Sunshine Act. It will be finished by the time I finish taping it. I remain skeptical that this will result in a settlement, despite the fact that it is a possibility. Even if that were to happen, there's no assurance that we would receive the breaking news today, even if it could function in theory. In principle, today may be the day that decisions are made, and I get that. Reiterating, the relevance of 2.15 p.m. Thursday, November 30, 2023 is quickly approaching. Following the statement, I'm not interested in reading this entire thing, the subject and issue is cited. This particular bullet point piques our interest since it addresses the establishment and resolution of injunctive actions, which are subsequently followed by administrative processes. For your convenience, I have highlighted it on the screen. I understand that this has nothing to do with Ripple, but it's also not completely out of the question that it may. Would you like to discuss Ripple at that time? That would totally not surprise me in the least. The previous article inquired as to whether the SEC will settle with Ripple today, and now the sole remaining question is whether a deal will be achieved. As the SEC's planned closed-door meeting has fueled a spike of speculation about a potential settlement and the ongoing legal struggle over Ripple, many cryptocurrency investors view today, November 30th, as just another day in the crypto market. On the flip side, crypto video folks, it's just another day in the Bitcoin market, in my opinion. The SEC vs Ripple battle may finally end on November 30, 2023, according to certain XRP holders. True to form, the US Securities and Exchange Commission has opened the floor to blah, blah, blah for its closing meeting. There has been a notice that says that. It is expected that all senior officials and commissioners will attend the meeting, which is scheduled to be held at the SEC headquarters in Washington, D.C. Officials from the SEC can still take part digitally if they can't make it in person. This meeting's agenda includes administrative revenues, injunctive action settlements, and other similar matters. Even though the SEC didn't mention the Ripple case in their announcement, XRP aficionados have been talking about a potential settlement between the securities regulator and Ripple after a closed-door meeting and talks of injunctive actions. Since December 2020, when it brought accusations against Ripple for breaching federal securities laws, the SEC has made it clear that it does not wish to negotiate a settlement with the blockchain company. Instead, it is bracing itself for a crushing victory in its legal fight against Ripple. 
Sure, I have no problem with people being interested in Ripple and wanting to talk about it. I will reiterate that. Consider the potential to my mind, the reality. I believe it's fair to state that the ship has been sold. I can't say for sure, but maybe we'll hit it big eventually. Whatever the case may be, I am still skeptical of the style, and we will investigate the SEC's most recent position. When it comes to XRP XRP's legal standing, which is paramount, they have already fallen short. No, that. Make a bet on security. Now that they've completely lost it, what precisely are they? What are the potential dangers? Putting in additional effort? I mean, it's obvious if they're intending to do anything so drastic. Certain products could be submitted if they move on to the next phase. But at this point, does it actually matter to us that much, because, XRP according to their statement, they have no plans to pursue an appeal about that. The SEC stated that. If people are arguing over whether programmatic or institutional sales are better, Ripple can answer their questions. What is the actual driving force right now? The positioning of Ripple makes it clear that they are not playing around, rather, they are taking this seriously. That same headline from earlier today, with a possible trip to the Supreme Court, the XRP dispute involving Ripple and the SEC could be settled for $208. Yeah, that's wrong. In an earlier piece, Stewart, who is also Ripple Labs' chief legal officer, suggests that he thinks the SEC will lose its legal battle against Ripple, and that Ripple might wind up losing if the case goes to the Supreme Court. Nevertheless, this will only happen if the US Supreme Court is approached with the case. Sincerely, I am uncertain of my course of action should such a circumstance arise. That is something that Ripple will be actively pushing for. Yet, they will stand against it when the XRP legal clarity issue reaches a peak. Having possession of the chain is not the objective of the SEC, in that respect, I think we're taken care of. That being said, Stewart has previously uploaded this. They traded this Wall Street Journal screen capture, which I can enlarge to fill the whole screen. The Supreme Court has, in recent years, delivered a number of decisions that have been damaging to the SEC, according to his piece in today's Wall Street Journal. The SEC, he continues, is not without its flaws. It has swelled and broken. And encircled. Seize the chance as soon as it comes your way. I agree wholeheartedly on all counts. The answer is obvious. John Deaton, an attorney, has offered his thoughts on the subject. He remembered that when he sued the SEC, some people said you're crazy, reposting it. The SEC is utterly effective in its principal mission of frightening people, thanks to the limitless funds granted by the American taxpayer. Concerns that the SEC may seek assistance from the IRS are another reason why some individuals avoid dealing with them. Our nation came into being as a result of resistance to oppressive government rule. A very American thing to do is to stand up and fight. Yeah, it seems to me that Attorney Deaton was unconcerned about that. I think he shared our annoyance with the SEC's ridiculous overreach. Everyone is justifiably terrified that Nance will stop allowing XRP withdrawals through the XRP ledger. Furthermore, I felt compelled to highlight this because it was significant, and it has since passed. Broken finances blocked the withdrawal of XRP, much to everyone's surprise, and Edward Farina publicized this knowledge worldwide. Take your cryptocurrencies out of the trade, to remove cryptocurrency from exchanges is a message I can get behind. Ultimately, the people will decide. In my view, it is not a good idea to keep cryptocurrencies on exchange. Despite the obvious risks, no one seemed to be paying attention to the practice of self-custody. Thus, risks exist anyway, maintaining cryptocurrencies on exchange is, in that was a separate thread, and I'd rather not go into it in this video. In this context, we are addressing matters pertaining specifically to XRP. I get it when you get a ton of attention for a large, pointless post. But. In reality, it's just a matter of routine wallet maintenance, which Binance performs periodically. 
After then, there will be a brief maintenance window when the coin in issue, which could be XRP or another one, would not be accessible. After that, you can move your XRP or other assets around. That happened frequently for me in 2017 and 2018 when I could use the original bindings. A very long time ago, it was lawful in the United States. Users came from all walks of life. This sort of thing happens with all kinds of transfers, so it shouldn't be shocking. I just don't want it to get really worked up. I get it, it sounds thrilling. No need to be self-conscious about being the center of attention, I get it. This is not a big deal, so I guess I should just face reality. It turns out that this other thing wasn't very important, but I can understand why everyone was anxious about it, it was a major source of tension. Allow me to reassure you everyone. Concern over this, rather than the Binance situation, is more justified and reasonable, in my view. A piece of writing. Of course, greetings, XRP holders. A problem with our backend services has been found. Yesterday, the official Ledger support account released this message. A resolution for XRP is currently in the works by our team. For whatever reason, you might not be able to fund your Ledger Live account with XRP right now. There will be no impact on your funds once the Ledger is live. Through the integration of the Ledger Nano with the XRP toolkit, you will be able to access and manage your XRP. As soon as we have new information, we will release a patch. End of story. Subsequently, some were making the joke. They mention a hardware wallet for the Ledger. To put it in a playful perspective, it's like a centralized exchange. There is some truth to it, but not really, because you are still responsible for your own finances. You were unaffected because the hack only affected their software, Ledger Live. The XRP toolbox is available to you throughout this time, as I indicated earlier. Because of this, it had no value in the end. Still, a lot of people were understandably anxious, dealing with the weak involves handling a lot of people's money. It also did not address the understandably troubling lack of explanation regarding the event's motivation. Furthermore, although they were evasive first, they ultimately offered a resolution. It was my sole intention to bring this to your notice. As you can see, the XRP Ledger Foundation really made an update on this. In addition, they had to write because the configuration change had been delayed. People who use Cluster.com rely on XRP. Our team has successfully fixed the problem where users were unable to connect to the public entire history nodes over WebSocket transports. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. Also, the monitoring is much better now. I apologize, but I will not pretend to comprehend all this technical lingo. The issue, though, rested on this very point. It was the one that stood out because to its silent and ledger qualities. Without a doubt, the ledger support staff talked. We have resolved the issue. It was a win-win since Wheats also reposted it. He went on to say that users with Ledger hardware may have experienced connection issues with the XRP Ledger over the past few hours. This problem has been resolved as a result of an adjustment to the configuration at XRPLcluster.com. Nodes on the global XRP distributed Ledger. Therefore, it was completely irrelevant. Also, I am not going to make someone pay for being worried. More people should be aware of this because it is true. I would do everything I could to spread the information. Having said that, this is far from a disaster. You shouldn't automatically assume that Ledger hardware wallets are unreliable because this isn't a warning sign. Indeed, that is incorrect. Once again, the problem was resolved quite quickly. However, I felt compelled to mention all of this. This is the result. Entirely uninteresting, it's alright. I am not a financial expert, so you should not listen to me when I advise you to purchase or sell anything. Then, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and give it a like. Goodbye for now.